So hi, what's up? It's your boy Sports Wizard, and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today we're gonna to be Djokovic versus Herkax, Paris Masters semi-final. So let's get right into it. So before we get into the predictions, we have to talk about something. So obviously yesterday I did Djokovic for his first prediction, and I said Djokovic would win in three sets. He won in straight sets. Okay, I understand. And also another thing is that guys um the uh I, I did not do the I did not do the other match I'm trying to check with. I was not able to do um Duckworth versus Harkax, Gaston versus Medvedev or Root versus Vera because it was like pretty late. You know, our time it was pretty late, you know. It was in like the night time for me. So I, I couldn't really I couldn't really do it because I was getting ready to go to sleep, so that's why I could not do the rest of the matches. And I'll probably, you know, I, I'm probably not gonna be able to do the second semi, the second semi-final prediction because you know it didn't come out yet, and, and it just depends when, um, it comes out like because it's Gaston versus Medvedev and Rude versus Verab, and whoever wins those, whoever wins Gaston versus Medvedev and whoever wins Wood versus Verab, they face in the semi-final, and I have to see what time it comes for me because these matches, you know, the draws they're coming out really late, but anyway, I'm able to do this match. And yeah, I think Djokovic is gonna win in three. I mean, you, you can't go against Djokovic, come on. But like, her guys have been playing really, really, really well, actually. And yeah, so I think it's gonna be six four six seven seven five, and the mode is gonna be hard. So let's get into the end of this. So Djokovic has 20 grand slims, 85 titles, and he won all of the Masters 1000 at least twice. He also won all of the grand slams at least twice. Djokovic is currently number one in the world. He's an aggressive baseline. He has good grand strokes. He has the best backhand on tour, arguably. He has a good serve that's flat. He's a good returner. He's good in the crucial moments, and he's also good at coming back. And playing under pressure as well. He's a good mover. He can do both offense and defense. He does not have a good smash. His temper can cause problems. And he maybe takes the ball a little too early. Djokovic won Wimbledon five times. He also won three times. Also won open nine times. And French Open twice. He also won the Olympic bronze medal. He won five ATP Tour finals. Uh, whereas Herkax, um, he won he went to the Australian Open Roland Garros and US Open second round. And earlier this year, you, you guys should probably know that uh, Herkax made it to the Wimbledon semi-finals. He has four titles. He's top 10 in the world. He's number 10. And yeah, I mean, also with the Herkax beating Duckworth, he actually qualified for the NITO ATP Tour Finals. Not, not NITO anymore because they changed their location by ATP Tour Finals. So congratulations to Herkax on that. And yeah, he also has a good serve. He's a decent return, decent ground strokes, and has a good volley. The hat is 2-0 Djokovic. So the last time they faced was obviously in the Wimbledon semifinals in which Djokovic beat Herkax in four sets. And yeah, in the first one, I think Djokovic, he's going to be going aggressive. I think he's going to hit one or set aces, you know, make Herkax move around. And then Djokovic, he will have a lot of energy because he just swept Taylor Fritz. So yeah, like I said, he's going to be hitting one or setting aces, making Herkax move around, like, you know, riding with Herkax a lot. Whereas Herkax, you know, he's going to have a good serve, so... He's going to get aces, but again, he's going to have to move around a lot. And he's not the best of movers, you know, he's, you know, he's a, you know, he's pretty tall. So he's not going to be like the smoothest of movers. So it's going to be kind of tough for him to, you know, move around that much. And also, you know, he's, like whenever he's moving, you know, you're not going to get that much focus on your ground strokes when you're on the move, right? So I think he'll also have quite a few unforced errors because when you're on the move, you know, you need to like, perfect your angle if you want to bang a winner and it's going to be pretty tough when you're on the move so i think he also had some unforced stairs and eventually djokovic will win the first set in the second set i think Kirkax, you know and djokovic they're both going to be going aggressive you know they're going to hit winner set aces make each other move around that i think the difference between djokovic and Kirkax is that i think Kirkax you know, is going to be hitting bigger strokes i think he's going to be the one that's gonna make Djokovic move around a lot. And the only reason why I think Djokovic will force it to a tiebreak is because he he can move really well. So I think he'll still be able to get the balls. But in the tiebreak I think Herkax, you know, he's just gonna be making Djokovic move around all you know, like make him move around a lot. And you know, he has very big ground strokes because you know he's a tall guy. And like, you know, he can just scratch his arm and he can bang a winner. Because Djokovic, you know, he's not as tall as them, so it's going to be easy for Herkax to hit those winners. And eventually, Herkax will come out on top in the tie break. But in the third set, I think there's one key thing, okay? Herkax been, has been playing, like, really well, and so has Djokovic. But the key thing is, 
S T A M I N A stamina. And that's gonna be like, you know, the really, really, really important part of this third set because you know both of them, you know, they're gonna be playing well. Djokovic, like I said, he's gonna keep continuing with his continuing his strategy. Um, his strategy, you know, of just making her cast moving around, rally with her cast, and you know, hit bonus whenever he can and hit aces. And her cast, you know, he's gonna be doing the same thing, he's gonna hit bonus and hit aces, and also he's gonna make Djokovic move around. But I think Djokovic, you know, he's gonna be the one that's gonna be like have more production, you know, hit more winners, hit more aces, you know, make her cast move around, like you know, have better angles than her cast. And like I said, her cast is gonna be tired, and Djokovic, you know, not so much. So her guys is gonna be tired and he's gonna hit on fourth there. So at that like towards the end of the third set and eventually Djokovic will come out on top. So I guess like I said, the main thing is the stamina and yeah, that's the prediction. Thank you guys so much for um sixty four subscribers. Yeah, I think yeah, sixty four subscribers. I really appreciate it and guys let's see if we, if we can get to sixty five subscribers. So I guess like, subscribe and turn on those notifications and I'll see you next time. Peace.